Hello, today we will talk about Manchester code. What we know about Manchester code is 0 is a health width between minus 1 and 1, and 1 is a health width also between 1 and minus 1. First of all, we have a random integer generator. That's it. 0, 1, 1, 0, etc. First of all, this blocks work to 1. To have 1, a health width between 1 and minus 1. When we multiply it by a pulse generator with 15% period of its, pulse width, 15% of period, so, and uh, we have this signal, health period 1, 0, 1, 0. When we multiply it by 2, so it's between 0 and 2. Subtract it by 1, we have this signal between 1 and minus 1 and we don't know where is 0 so we multiply it by this signal itself random integer generator to have this shape 0 rest 0 and 1 it's a helper between 1 and minus 1 secondly we work to 0 and this case to have 0 between minus 1 and 1 helpers first of all we subtract this random integer generator by minus 1 so the 1 becomes 0 and 0 becomes minus 1, like that. So 1 is 0 and 0 is minus 1. Secondly, we multiply it by a pulse generator with pulse width 15% of period. To have this shape, minus 1 to 0, minus 1 to 0 help width. After that, we multiply it by 2. So it's the value is between 0 and minus 2. And when we add it to 1, the value is between minus 1 and 1. We see here. Here we don't know where is 1. 1 rest 1. So when multiply it together, together we have the value 2, 1 minus 1. I don't need that. I, don't, I want to have 1 and this part is 0. So we multiply this output. To have one zero by the XOR of the signal. XOR the signal with one, so the one becomes zero and zero becomes one. When we the product of each, the one is zero and the zero is between minus one and one helpers. When we add them together, this output of one and the output of zero, we have the encoder of Manchester code. Let me see you. More clarity. This zero minus one one. The one is one minus one minus one one, etc. Thank you for watching. I hope you will learn from my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you.